Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our project presentation for our course Operating System Lab. Our course teacher is Ms. Zakia Sultana. Our section is PCD group number 4. The topic for our project is setting up web server. Our group members are myself Anisudjaman Shaikh. My ID is 18115 Ahsan Habib and Hadi Himmel. First let's get introduced to this topic. So the configuration we are going to use to set up our web server is LAMP stack. LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP. This is a combination of open source software that has been used by many other servers. Here Linux works as the open source operating system that runs all the programs. Apache works as the server. MySQL works as the database and PHP works as the scripting language to make our website more interactive. So why are we using LAMP stack? Because it is very flexible. All of the software used in this configuration are open source and regularly maintained and we can easily expand the functionality of our configuration by adding various modules as per required. It is also very efficient because this configuration does most of our work for us. We don't need to worry too much about uh, the server. We can focus on web development. This configuration can run various popular uh, web applications such as WordPress and Drupal. So let's get started with setup process. Now I will show you how to set up the Apache server. Here we are in our Linux machine. This is running Linux Mint 20 but the setup process will be similar for any other Ubuntu based distributions. So first let's make sure that our repository is up to date. For that we will type in sudo apt update. Hit enter. This will ask for our password. So our repository is now up to date. And now we can go ahead and install Apache web server. So we will type in sudo apt install the package name is apache2 hit enter so this is asking that it will install eight new packages we want to install so we will hit y and enter now the apache web server is being installed okay so installation is done so now that our web server is installed we need to make sure that the firewall will not block any incoming traffic so that our server can run without any restriction. So let's check what apps are currently blocked by the firewall. So we will do sudo ufw app list. This will ask for our password. Okay. So these are the application that are currently blocked by the firewall. We need to make sure that Apache 4 is not blocked by the firewall. So let's check the status of this application. So we will write sudo ufw app info inside quotation mark apache full hit enter. So this is showing that port 80 and port 443 is currently allowed. If these two ports are not allowed then we need to type in another command. I will show you that. So we will type in sudo ufw allow in inside quotation mark apache full so this is showing that skipping adding existing rule because i already had the rule set up so that's no problem now let's verify that our apache server is correctly installed and working properly for that we need our ip address so let's find this pc's ip address we will type in if config hit enter okay so this is the device that is connected so we need this IP address I will copy this now let's open up our browser inside our browser I will type in HTTP colon slash slash then I will paste in the IP address and hit enter okay so this page shows up that means our Apache server is working properly. It says it works. This is the default page for our Apache server. If this page shows up, 
that means our apache server installation was successful and it is working properly so now we can go ahead and install mysql database for that i am going to go to my next teammate asan habib he will explain how to install mysql thank you assalamu alaikum thank you anisud jaman shaikh for completing the first part of our project so let me introduce my name is mamad hasan habib my id is 18115 1907 Uh, as we know that he has shown how to set up apache server now i am going to show how to install mysql database in our um, linux so as our installation is done it's time to install mysql mysql is a database management system basically it will organize and provide access to database where your site can store information now if we see uh, if we start to install mysql let's go to our terminal first then we write sudo apt install mysql server using this command it will show okay we need password okay after the password it will show that we need 246 mb that will be installed so we give yes command and now we can see that it's installing it will need some time the packages are installing okay it's completed now so now let's clear the terminal okay clearing the terminal now let's run the command sudo mysql secure installation we have to give the secure for the securation uh, for giving secure we have to give the password now we say okay we are going for yes for y now we can see that the password may be low medium or a strong password so for the practice reason we are going for low so we press 0 and we are giving our password like 1 2 3 4 like something like that and then re enter the password again 1 2 3 4 5 now it's asking for yes or no provide okay of course we are going for yes and then remove anonymous users if we want to remove our users anonymous users for yes or no okay i think i should go for no actually then disallow root logging remotely uh, yes we are going for yes and then remove that database and access to it so nope we are not going to do that is skipping and reload previous tables now yes again all done okay now i have to give in a password that will need to connect to mysql as root we need to watch with authentication method for this we run sudo mysql now checking the in authentication method each of sql users account with the following command the command should be for database like select user comma authentication underscore string comma plugin okay plugin comma host and then from mysql dot server okay let's hit the run let's see what happen okay we have done it successfully in this we can see that the root user does in fact okay let's zoom out and see what's the matter uh, using the authentication plugin now to configure the root account to authenticate with a password here we can see the root is with auth socket okay the root is with plugin uh, auth socket we need it to convert it in native password so again zoom out zoom in and then now to configure the root account to authenticate with a password run the following alter user command so alter user single quote r w o t root at the rate again single quote local host and then with capital it will be identified with my sql native my sql underscore native underscore password by password under the single quote let's have a look if our command is okay or not 
okay checking now let's hit okay it says that our query is okay our query is okay and then now run the flush privilege flush privilege which tells the server to reload the grant tables and put the change into effect so just flush privileges and we get the query is okay now checking the authentication method again by select user the first time i we have done this before user authentication underscore string comma plugin comma host from mysql dot user so let's see what's happen next okay we have seen that uh, from the before and the after okay you can see that and the root is now sql native password okay this is the main point so this is the main point okay this time the root plugin is mysql native password the password we have given before once this is confirmed that the root mysql user now authenticates using a password then we can exit out mysql shell by just typing exit e x i t exit okay that's a bye and this is how mysql installation process is done perfectly now our next teammate hadi himel will take the flow for rest of the project thank you and once again assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum myself abdul hadi himel my id is 18115208080 so my uh, part is setting up a php so uh, for setting up a php uh, i have to add or type something Uh, so for uh, firstly i have to type sudo uh, basically i uh, will add php in linux so i have to download it with some command line so i type sudo apt apt install php uh, we have we want three packages so php one uh, lib apache two mode one and uh, then uh, i have to type php dash mysql so after this uh, i i have to set uh, my password then it will uh, started uh, downloading so but uh, in i have to um, comment it yes or no if i press y then it will uh, uh, downloaded automatically so here we see the uh, php uh, successfully downloaded for configuration we have to type sudo nano then etc because we uh, will add apache 2 in it so we have to write this command line for configuration of php so uh, in php or in linux uh, there are many uh, file or app like php so for this uh, uh, command i have to edit something so there is we see index html but in before we have to type index.php then uh, we find a letter index.php we have to cut it and, and this will be okay so uh, uh, then i press control x and y for yes so now configuration is over so here uh, i have to configure it or check it that uh, it will active running uh, or not so we see here this is active and running so our uh, php is okay so uh, then it's worked so we have to go to uh, next move so there is the main <laughs> configuration of it that i will add php in my web server so therefore this we have to uh, type some command line like we have to create directory for it uh, for directory we add mkdir so uh, i type this mkdir and we named a, a web server so um, www is mandatory and i named a domain name like example.com okay then we created uh, successfully created a directory okay so we have to change the unicity of our directory so that's why we have to type uh, that's why we have to type 
some command line like sudo uh, change own uh, then domain name then we have to change mood of it so uh, usually we type a command line so then we have to go to the GNU bar and check our HTML so uh, here we have to uh, type some HTML code for our web server so HTML head title we get title will come to my server then uh, some typing of it operating system lab project then we back to uh, we type Q and we back to our Linux terminal point so we have to check that this site is available or not so we uh, write a command like sudo nano etc apache to sites uh, available or not so here we see uh, some problem that directory of apache is not found for this we have to type we have to change directory first so we change directory with some uh, command then we've uh, got two files so default.conf1 and default.ssl conf1 so we uh, copy it first file then we uh, write some command sudo cp then we paste it and our domain name conf so then um, we can edit gnu nano area so here we have to type some virtual hosting so there we virtual host 80 then uh, server admin webmaster then server name example.com we set up before server alive www.example.com full website address then document root error log and many things customer log type uh, many things and that then virtual host is over so then then we have to check it that it is available or not sudo a2 we check it that uh, we it is uh, enabled so it is successfully enabled then we have to add that our we have to add that our command is found or not so uh, see this is successfully disabled which file is not which file is cause for our change directory so this is disabled so we have to check our server that it is okay or not so uh, there we see the syntax is okay so then we have to restart our apache and we have to go to our main page so then what i named my uh, web server is www.example.com so I uh, type example.com and here we see uh, HTML form. So there is success. Our server is now live. Operating system lab project. So successfully we uh, run our project. Thank you ma'am. My name is Abdul Hadi Himal. My ID is 18152080. So thank you ma'am for uh, greeting, uh, getting us this amazing project uh, that we can learn something. Thank you so much ma'am. Assalamu alaikum.